my favorite things in life are books and one of my favorite TV shows whenever is Mr. Rogers. We would sit down and watch it all the time whenever I was growing up. Um, my mom loved it. My mom grew up with it. So naturally we watched it too. And um, Mr. Rogers is full of wisdom. I'm going to share a quote with you guys today from According to Mr. Rogers. And um, I found a quote that I think is really relevant. So I'm going to read it to you. It says, In times of stress, the best thing we can do for each other is to listen with our ears and our hearts and to be assured that our questions are just as important as our answers. So today, I encourage you guys to find someone that you can listen to, um, FaceTime a friend, um, and just listen. And also reach out to somebody that can listen to you. Because in these times, it can be tough if you're all alone. Um, and you might think that somebody's doing okay on your Zoom calls or um, whenever you text them. They might seem like they're doing okay, but maybe inside they're not. And they just have a hard time expressing that. So go find your people, call them up, talk to them, and more importantly, listen to them and see how you can pray for them today. Hey guys, I hope that your day is going well. Um, I'm so excited for what we're going to do today. Um, so Laura and Becca, you guys know both of them. Um, they live in basically the middle of nowhere. They live in rural Illinois, which means there's a bunch of cornfields and... That's pretty much it. And so today we're gonna go through Duncan's drive through get them some coffee because since we live in the surrounding towns of normal, what we really like to do together is go get some coffee. And um, we usually do that at Starbucks, but because of shelter in place we can't do that so we're gonna run through really quick get them some coffee then I'm gonna take a road trip to the town that is known for the drive-in so it's gonna be super fun and I'll post my road trip playlist in case you guys are interested in that I don't know if you care what kind of music I listen to but I think it's fun. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll say hi to them from afar, of course. But, yeah, so let's go. All right, guys, so we're at the Dunkin' drive through the one on Oakland. I don't usually go to the one on Oakland, but it's closer to their house. Um, so Laura is getting an iced caramel latte thing. And then Becca, we get her a uh, frozen chocolate I don't know if that's all it's called. Frozen chocolate thing. And um, so Becca, if you guys don't know, has mitochondrial myopathy. <laughs> I think I said that right. And so basically what that means is her mitochondria have some kind of dysfunction which doesn't allow for them to um, create or deposit or something, I don't know, that could help me, energy the way that they normally do. So, like, she has to be careful about how she exercises and she can't drink caffeine, guys. Caffeine equals hospitalization for Becca. So we don't want that. So we get her a frozen chocolate thing from Duncan. Hi, I would like a medium frozen coffee. Any flavor whipped cream? Um, whipped cream, please, and just a regular, no flavoring. Okay, is it all for you today? And I would also like a medium iced caramel latte. 
Kentucky Mice Caramelante. And a medium frozen chocolate. No medium frozen chocolate? Yeah, and that'll be all. Alrighty, did you put your cream in the frozen chocolate? What's that? Do you want the whipped cream in the frozen chocolate? Um, yes please. Alright, it'll be 16 at the window. Alright, thank you. Alright, so we are all set. We have... We have our drinks. We have our shelter in place survival kit and we have Bianca Althoff's how to have your life not suck and we're all ready for our road trip so let's go all right guys so we have arrived we're here and I'm so excited but also I'm really sad because before I would just like walk in and then it would be so much fun but instead we have to sit here and wait for their arrival it is so sad I can't go in but I'm so excited to see them live and in person here they are <laughs> are we six feet I don't even yeah, know is this healthy yeah, are we good Oh, thanks. Oh, my goodness. You're so welcome. Oh, my gosh. So oh, many so many so many 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 <laughs> That's in case you get the coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> I, like, I made a to-do list last night, so yeah. I wouldn't forget anything. <laughs> I'll read this once I finish Costa Discipleship. Yes. This is so cute, Emily. What the heck? Thank you. I was in Target and I was like, oh no, this is not good. I'm going to buy everything. I love this. Oh, that's cute. It's a spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we did it. I always wondered what it felt like to be a DoorDash employee. And now I know. It's super magical and I would definitely do it again. Felt like I was really giving back to society. So, thanks for going on this journey with me. It was super fun. Um, any motherly advice? Yeah, wait till I get to the stop sign and then I'll have some. <laughs> Emily, you can't laugh. Always wear your seatbelt. Yeah.